You okay? Jess, you called me at work. Asked me to meet you at the hospital so that we could do a paternity test. What if you're having that bastard's kid? Baby, you gotta relax. These shoulders are hanging from your ears. You don't like the look? Seriously, this much tension is not good for you. I know you're worried about your brother, but I'm worried about you. I'll be fine. As long as I know Greg's out of the woods. So yourself, this is our baby, no matter where the genes came from. So what are you saying? You don't want to, you don't want to do this? Not if you don't. Okay, okay. Before we make a decision, let's just think about this. What, what that means and what we want. Well, what I want is to marry you, raise this baby, and then have more babies. A whole house full. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know, no matter who the father is, you're the man I love, and you're the man I'm going to marry. How many is a house full exactly? At least half dozen. Six more, so eight. At least, yeah. <sighs> That's the first time I've seen you smile in weeks. That's a happy thought. Roni, this is eating us up. We have to face it, okay? So I say, let's get the test done, and then we'll know. But no matter what... A house full. What do you think his chances are? Uh, well, according to his chart, there's no brain damage. So as long as he keeps making progress and there's no setbacks, no pneumonia, no hemorrhaging, it looks like he just might pull through. You just made my day. <laughs> okay, wait, no. Will you do something for me? Anything. Take a deep breath. And relax. Doesn't that feel better? I don't know what I would do without you. I gotta go. My parents took Destiny to get a bite to eat. And I don't want to leave Greg inside there alone. Okay. I really have to hand it to you, Greg. I didn't think you had it in you. Spiriting Taya away from St. Kitts to Cherry Vale. Convincing me that she was dead while all the while you were keeping her alive and hidden. Talking me onto the operating table so you could kill me. Bravo. Bravo, you remind me of me. It was a really good idea, Greg. Too bad you blew it. You lost your nerve, didn't you? Hey, it's understandable. You knew once Todd Manning was reunited with his bride and found out you were the one who gave Taya a false diagnosis. You were the one who pumped her full of poison and you were the one who took her away from her daughter. He'd see to it that you lost your license and spent 20 years in prison. And then he'd kill you. I don't blame you for backing down though, Craig. The thing is, once you start down a path with me, there's no turning back. After all, look what happened. I'm alive. Tay is right back to where she started, and you, well, I'm afraid this is the end of the road for you, my friend. As your doctors are so keen on saying, you're about to have a very bad outcome. If you think I've led a charmed life, you'd be right. Of course, one star took off, thought my luck had run out for a second there. But then, Taya Delgado literally falls right into my arms. And not a moment later, dutiful daughter Danielle right behind her. 
so with mother and daughter on hand, everything else should fall right into place. So I really have to thank you, Doc. Which is why I'm going to make this as painless as possible. You won't feel it. Jessica? Come Hey, what if I talk to you? Any word on Eli? Between us? You make contact. Manning got a call. Eli has the girls. How much does he want? It's ridiculous. So this is all about liquidating Manning? We've got the Bureau involved. We're working on taking him down. I'll keep you posted. If you need anything, you let me know, all right? Brody, you can come in now. Jess, you got the glow. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. All right, good. Oh, it's good to see you two looking so happy. <laughs> I'll just need to check your blood pressure, Jessica. Make sure that the uh, bed rest is doing the trick. It's, um, that's about it. It's all pretty standard. Actually, maybe not. All right, well, the good news is your blood pressure is leveling off. And the bad news? Uh, I still need you in bed with your feet up, at least for the next few weeks. But am I stable enough to do the amnio? Are you sure you want a maternity test? Yeah. We're sure. Okay. Um, just so we're on the same page, the amnio can tell us about a variety of potential genetic defects. And given the complications with your past pregnancy, I think it's a good choice. It does carry certain risks, and I knew that you were concerned about those. Yes, but the risks are minimal, right? Usually, but with your BP being an issue, I just want to make sure that you're really leveled off. Okay. Okay, so we'll meet back here in a few days, and if your pressure cooperates, then we'll do the test. Well, Good. The, uh, the other candidate need to be here? No. No, we can get our results by testing the baby's DNA against yours. Good. And if you want to save a little time, we can test you right now, Brody. Can you change my brother coming out of it? Son of a bitch! Damn! All right, that's it. That, that was easy. Yeah, I'm gonna take this down to the lab. I'll put a rush on it, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey, none of this is easy. You know what? It is. Because I love you. I love Bree, and I'm gonna love this baby no matter who the father is. How did I get so lucky? I'm the lucky one. I have two beautiful girls and a baby on the way. I'll let you know when Brody's DNA is typed, and then we'll set up the amnio. Yeah. Okay? Thanks. Great. Uh, oh my god. Sean! Eli's here. I wanted to see my brother. He was standing on top of him. He had scrubs on. I thought he was a doctor. Son of a bitch knocked me upside the head. Where was he going? Stairwell. I lost him. Suspect sighted in the north stairwell. We need to lock down the hospital. No, Sean, wait. Get her in that room and lock the door. Brody. So Eli's gone? Yeah. Oh, well, how's Sean? Fine. He could probably stand to get his head looked at. Well, uh, Dr. Wright is going there right now. How are you? I just wish we'd caught him. I'm going to check out the uh, security tapes and see if I can find out which way he was heading. Can you? Yes. Get a ride home, of course. I've already called my father. And uh, he's here right now. <laughs> I love you. I'll talk to you later. OK. Bye. Dad, thank you so much for coming. Sure. You all right? I'm fine. Um, Brody just got called away on police business. Oh. How was the appointment? Are you doing any better? I'm fine. Um, my blood pressure has stabilized. and. We're gonna do the paternity test. We just, we wanna know. Of course we do. You know, I'm gonna be okay, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Well, Brody is a good man. I trust him to do the right thing. And I don't think Ford will be any problem at all. Hey. Behave yourself. You just smell so good. All right, just one more minute. All right, no concussion. Do you have a headache? Just right where he hit me. Your brother is lucky that you came in when you did. There's no telling what Eli could have done to him if he had the chance. Mm -hmm.